If our culture is very distorted and has a big um, kind of overemphasis on the masculine, but not even really the authentic masculine, more like the, the fake masculine, the, the compensated man, the, the, how are we ever going to learn it? You know, and to, to question to you, women, did, was your family a place where the feminine was deeply valued and celebrated and honored and loved? And, or was it a place where the feminine was second, second best? You know, generally that's been the case in the culture that all of us grew up in. There's becoming some changes, I think, that are coming, that are coming up that started with the women's movement, that are now coming up with a rising of a lot of different awareness um, in femininity and about being feminine and what it really means to be feminine. The feminine is, you know, being much more celebrated and empowered and um, appreciated right now than perhaps it has been for quite a long time. But often what I've seen happen for women is that not only was the feminine not celebrated was not highly valued but it, there was also even an antagonism against it and in some cases there was abuse against the feminine you know and and that might have taken any number of forms but so you know what becomes an intelligent strategy then for a young girl who's growing up and doesn't feel like her femininity is really supported, loved, and valued, it tends to be that she starts to develop a masculine, her masculine side, both to protect the feminine and also as an attempt to get favor, to um, get appreciation, to um, make money to develop herself in a way where she becomes faster, smarter, quicker, better than any man. And in some ways we live in a time where we, we see a lot of women that become better men than the men. And your little smiles tell me that you know what I'm talking about. You know, and, and us men not feeling really relaxed and grounded in ourselves as men go into all kinds of compensations. You know, one, one might be that we become, you know, we feel like we don't have anything down here, so we try and put on a big one up here, you know, and become the dickhead and try and penetrate, the li penetrate life with understanding, with our minds, with a lot of efforting, you know, to get it right. Another compensation is to become very macho. You know, I also, I, I, you know macho a lot of times looks like the masculine, but in the way I understand it, I'm always a bit suspicious of very macho behavior. It's like, is that really the masculine or is that a compensation for a castrated man? <laughs>